You beat me in golf, but I beat you in bowling or horseshoes. <laughs> yeah, I'm not very good bowler. Oh, that's my stuff, baby. Coach oh, said so you guys both bench press 300 pounds, is that right? Let's see. Uh, no, I was like 315. You were like 317, I think. I mean, Coach Pitt, I'm I mean. I'm totally kidding. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Coach Pitt does a great job. I mean, you work hard, and we both both been working real hard over summer. And, uh, you know, we're working on it. So we're getting up there. So it's not true. I mean, it's not that true. Okay. I mean, it's not that high. There? We're, we're, we're pretty you, close. What did you mean, rep three of? Uh, I rep like two, it was like 270, maybe? 260, something? Yeah. Like 250. I don't it's know. Close. It's, getting, it's getting up there. We're Good both day. working hard, getting stronger. So, does it look like it? <laughs> That's why I asked. <laughs> yeah. Can you guys both talk about what it's like to line up on the immense on the offensive line? Feels good. I mean, these guys are big dudes, they're big guys, and you know they're working hard. They're learning the offense, and and uh, you know it feels good. You know, standing behind those guys because you know, they're going to give you time to throw. So it feels like you got all day to throw. And if you don't find a receiver, I mean, I don't know what to do because you have all time. You can pick and choose who you want to throw to. Because those guys do a great job. So I think it's awesome behind playing behind our guys because I think they're very, very versatile. I think they're big, athletic guys who can, you know, get upfield in the run game and pass protect very well. So. If we stay healthy and they keep working as a cohesive group like they have been, I think we're going to be in great shape because we're going to be able to run and throw however those guys want to. Do you feel like you have more playmakers in the passing game now because you need more big plays in the passing game? Well, I, I definitely think we have a lot of playmakers. I think we have had a lot of playmakers, but we, we just didn't really have a whole lot of depth and experience at a lot of those positions. But <coughs> this year we got a lot. I think what our only two seniors on offense are Briar and Pat Devenny. Am I right, Coach? I'm, I don't know if you know, but I mean, we're still going to be young this year, but we have so much more experience than we have in the past. So we're, d we're definitely building, building up to be that kind of program that we want to be at those positions. And we just got to go out and execute this year. But I mean, everything's looking towards a great season because everybody's been working really hard in this offseason, putting in a lot of work, and we've been staying healthy. Jake Barron. Oh, yeah, Jake oh, Barron's our fullback. Yeah. He's a stud. And it's great you guys work a lot more on the center than in the shotgun. Uh, what is your preference, or does it not matter? Do you like to work on the center more than the shotgun? I mean, I think personally, I think it doesn't really matter. I think, you know, based on the offense, you can do either one. I mean, I think for us, the type of personnel we have, I think we're more, you know, under center, you know, run downhill. I mean, with the backs we got, I think, you know, Jake Barron's, I mean, leading fullback, I and mean, with Daryl Scott, and Speedy, I think we'll be better, you know, running the ball downhill. And I think, uh, but we still will mix in some guns, so I think it's both are pretty, you know, beneficial to our offense as a whole. So, I don't know. I'd, uh, I'd say I, I really like working under center. Uh, it really feels like you're in the cockpit, like you're running everything. And I know most people think that I'd like the shotgun get better because I'm about six five recently. I know, I know you guys have noticed, but uh, you know, I, I really, I really like being under center because you get a really good feel for what's going on. You're closer to alignment. It's really easy to communicate stuff and. Then you also don't have to take your eyes off the defense because when you're playing at our level, there's a lot of shifting, a lot of movement that goes on in the secondary and with linebackers. So you don't have to take your eyes off the defense and you really feel like you're running the show. I know, you, it looks about, like, I know, you, I know you joke about the hype thing, but I mean, your offensive line is huge. How difficult is that in reality? Well, I mean, if you show me a 6'5 quarterback who can see over Nate Soldier, I'll still call you a liar because it's not going to happen. College football is all about finding passing lanes, and I don't care who you are. There aren't any quarterbacks the size of our guys. I mean, you had a couple guys close, maybe like Jamarcus Russell or Josh Freeman in the past, but we got some big dudes, so you're going to have to find passing lanes and, and move and make plays. Looks like the offensive line potentially could be a lot better this year. Definitely. The running game, if, if, if Roddy's healthy and whatnot, Scott, mm -hmm. uh, how much does that potentially improve your play action, maybe hit some deep balls downfield? I mean, definitely, I think, you know, you know, Coach Johnson's doing a great job with the offensive line. I think they're working real hard, and they're, you know, they're opening up lanes for you know Speedy and, and Daryl and Demetrius and even Belak to you know run through there and, and get some good yards. But uh, you know, anytime you have a good running game in the game of football, you're going to be a successful team, and because that, that's going to open up play action. So if your running game is good, you're you're going to be a great, great team. So that's that's our biggest thing to get that running game going. I actually know the playbook this time. <laughs> uh, more familiar. Um, I'm comfortable and I feel faster. So, yeah. You say you feel faster. You look bigger too. <laughs> yeah. Put some weight on. Yeah, I put some weight on. Uh, like ten pounds of muscle. So, Pittman's doing his job. <laughs>
What's your weight now compared to last year? 215. So I subtracted five and just put on muscle. Joe, what do you feel like you're capable of this season personally? Big plays. Um, they're trying to get everybody the ball, Speedy, Demetrius, uh, Brian Lockridge, and we're just trying to play fast and trying to get us that wide out and just get us just get us to the ball, basically. That you're looking forward to a healthy offensive line. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the first time. Uh, that's why we're in helmets right now. And then we'll go one padded practice, and then we'll be in vests. So. I would imagine in your position, when you look up, Soldiers, the Ryan Millers, the Matt Barnes, the Monsters. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a pretty good feeling for running backers. Yeah, uh, those guys are strong. <laughs> so they're going to be blocking and they're going to uh, open up holes for us. They're almost looking forward to possibly getting back in the D.I. formation or just a true tailback set downhill rather than trying to start it from static and a shotgun set. That's my style of play. So I'm ready. I'm excited for this year and I can't wait. Get the same going. How's it been with Josh not there? How much do you miss him? <sighs> I miss him. You know, Josh, he's exciting and everything, but he had to do what he had to do, and I respect his decision. So. That running back core with all the guys you named up, Matrix and Brian and Speedy, that, that's a lot of competition. Does, does that help each and every one? We have, we all bring something different to the game. Me and Demetrius is more like power. I got, I'm kind of faster than Demetrius, but he's power. Uh, speedy, he's quick, shifty, and Brian's the same way.